Hi everyone. In this video, based on your demand, we are going to learn how to build an intelligent data analysis bot that utilizes Pandas AI and Streamlit. Now, in this particular video, we are going and I am going to show you how you can build this intelligent AI agent that can not only understand your data well, that can not only generate insights from you from the data, but can also make build various plots. And all the while I'm going to see, show you two ways. One, using the proprietary chat open AI model provided by open AI. And the other is using, using completely open source model, which is Mistral 8 cross 7B. I have talked in detail about both these LLMs. I'll attach the link in the I button. Go ahead and check them out. Now, let us proceed. So this is how my dashboard looks like. You can add more details. I have just built a very basic uh, demo here so that you understand things well. I have taken a dummy data that comprise of two columns, country and sales. You can add more data as well. Okay, and now these are some of the plots as they would look like. Now going back uh, to our application, I'll show you what and how we are going to build them up. Okay, but before that, we need to understand what are some of the packages that we need to install in order to work around with this. Okay, so uh, some of the packages that we require here are Langchain, Langchain Grog. Again, Grog is a cloud-based API support that enables you to utilize some of these LLMs. This is just like how Hugging Face works, right? Hugging Face also provides you inference endpoints. And I have talked, again, again, I have talked about in detail about Hugging Face inference APIs. You can check them out in the videos in the description, right? Now, Langchain Grok also allows you to access various LLMs hosted on their server through their API calls. Some of these models are free to use and some of them are proprietary and require pay per use model. Okay, now we are going to use the open source Mixtral 8 cross 7b so we don't have to pay any cost associated. Right, then we need to install Streamlit and python.env. Python.env is nothing but basically allows you to load your environment keys from the .env file. Okay, now going back to our application. We are importing certain packages such as OS, Pandas PD, Pandas from Pandas AI, we are importing Smart Data Frame and Agent. From Langchain Grok, we are importing Chat Grok. .env, we are importing Load. .env from Gok, we, we don't actually need this because we are already using Langchain Grok. Okay, now we are importing Streamlit as ST. If you want to use the Chat OpenAI, right, the Chat GPT based. Uh, a API endpoint, then you can very well go ahead and use Langchain OpenAI and provide your necessary API key there. Okay. You know how to provide the API key in the .env file, right? We just, I have showed you in my earlier videos, just put your API key in the .env file, provide the corresponding name that is associated for a particular, uh, for any particular uh, environment variable that we are trying to use here, right? Now, uh, we are in loading this .env. I have uh, put this .env in under my LangGraph folder. I'm not going to open my .env because it contains some credentials there. Okay. From there, I'm importing my chat croc. Uh, uh, I'm importing my LLM, which I'm calling this chat croc object, which in instantiates with Mixtral 8 cross 7 32768. This is the code that they have provided in the grog. I'll show you how that is. Okay, let me open Grok. Sorry. I'll provide the link to this uh, particular website as well in the description. Make sure to check it out. It allows you very convenient way to test various AI API inferences, various LLM models. And again, it has both pay per use model as well as it has op open source proprietary models as well. Right, so go ahead and explore this. I'm not going to the detail, otherwise it's going to deviate and take a lot more longer in the video. Okay, if you want me to cover it, we can certainly cover it separately. Now, I am taking a dummy data set, sales by country. I'm creating a pandas data frame. You can take any other data frame that of your choice with more variables, with more columns, with more data. Now, there are two ways in which you can create this AI application in which you can make Pandas AI to work for you and provide intelligent insights. One is by creating this smart data frame and the other is by creating this agent. 
one of the key advantages of agent is that it inherently stores the memory of the various queries that you have provided right so if you are building a conversational agent that not only incorporates text understanding capabilities but at the same time remembers what was the context that we were discussing before then agent comes in the picture again these are completely related to each other it's not like uh, one just works uh, without uh, the requirement of the other but these are just two approaches to handle the pandas ai application so here we have used the agent based method again this is available within pandas ai itself we are passing our data frame that we generated here and we are specifying the llm to choose here we have created the chat clock mixtral llm if you are using the chat open ai you are going to specify that here now in my streamlit application i want to showcase this table so i call st.table and i pass my data frame if you want to just subset this data frame and list it down there that is completely your choice now in order to develop this streamlit application again we have dealt with streamlit a lot in the past we have built various kinds of applications wherein we saw how to use streamlit how to build various chat applications how to build chatbot right remember we have also built chat gpt like chatbot okay now here what we are trying to call is if my message already exists in my session state if my message doesn't already exist in my session state then i'm creating a new variable which is of type list under my st dot session state so st dot session state essentially manages the state or session of the entire uh, entire flow okay the next thing that i am trying to do here is i am calling this user message user message is nothing but the chat input i'll go back to the console so this is my user message here it comes type your query because we have specified the message as type your query now i am providing certain checks that if my user message exists then i will call my agent and pass the user message to the agent get the corresponding response and both the messages from the user as well as the response is concatenated to the messages once i am done with it i will simply display the messages here right so these are some of the examples i'll again call them out density plot of sales right so it will run the application generate the density plot it would be somewhere below so this is how our density plot looks like okay so it essentially now takes let us run various queries in our dashboard to help you understand how the solutioning works or how things look like okay you can go ahead and build your own queries and i would really appreciate if you share the work that you are doing on your end so i'll just type which country has the highest sales So it says the country with the highest sales is China with 7,000. So this is correct, right? We can see the data here. China is having the highest sales. I can again make certain plots. Bar plot. Right. So whenever you ask it to make a plot, it will just create a separate a screen it will open a separate screen wherein it will make the plot so this is how our plot looks like of top five countries if you want say density plot of sales uh, it says unfortunately i was not able to answer the no numeric data to plot let us try again sometimes uh, the queries could mismatch yes this time it makes the plot so sometimes you know the wording of the queries play a very crucial role right remember we studied about this in prompt engineering so some of these llm models are very good at understanding human language some of these require certain tweaking so if you don't get the response of the first time don't panic don't hit back that your llm is not working just try to reword and rephrase right this is one of an important learnings in prompt engineering so this is how our density plot looks like we have very limited data 
so uh, the things are really good here now now i will i would really appreciate if you go back try things on your end and share your learnings with us so that all of us engage and learn more and more new stuff and if you enjoyed this content make sure to give it a thumbs up see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye jai hind